Hello, my name is Chris Fistro, and today we will be looking at how continually advancing technology has affected accounting. The field of accounting has definitely seen helpful change by the progressive adoption of more technology throughout recent times. We will discuss the positive and negative impacts this change has had on accounting. Then we will explore some mitigating solutions to the negatives that we might have come across in our use of technology in our work as accountants. Finally, we will conclude with a review of everything we have covered. Dating back to earlier eras, we have always searched for an easier way to account for buying and selling of goods and services. It all started with the abacus, which was used only for simple math functions, namely addition, subtraction, multiplication, and division. We then progressed to the adding machines, which operated like a mechanical calculator, where each value placed in the number had its own 1 through 9 buttons to manually input the desired number to carry out the calculation. These machines later evolved into desk calculators and then to common digital calculators. With these inventions, we took some human error out of the mathematical aspects of accounting, since accountants were expected to keep records by hand before this. This included the general ledger and the sub-ledgers, such as accounts payable, accounts receivable, and others. The most significant advances which has propelled us to where we are presently came from the rise of personal computers. The first major spreadsheet program was called VisiCalc, and it was originally designed for the Apple II computer. It transformed the computer from leisure use to a serious business tool. According to the co-creator, Dan Bricklin, it allowed people to take 20 hours of work per week for some people and turn it out in 15 minutes. Not long after, IBM was spurred to release its own program named Lotus123 for its personal computers. Shortly after its release, Lotus123 ended VisiCalc's run. These types of programs now allowed for the calculation, analysis, and storage of data. These spreadsheet programs eventually gave rise to the ever-popular Microsoft Excel. Shortly thereafter, technology gifted accountants with computer-based accounting software. These types of programs range from the affordable user-friendly QuickBooks to the expensive yet powerful ERP systems such as SAP and Oracle. According to the Journal of Accountancy, more than 4.5 million companies use QuickBooks, making it by far the most widely used accounting system in the world, while ERP systems are more robust and customizable to handle larger companies. All these advancements in technology have allowed for the elimination of the double entry and permitted for the storage of all ledgers in a single system. This also allowed for easier access to ready-made financial statements and other reports. The most recent breakthrough in technology being utilized in the business world today is cloud services. The cloud serves to store data and provide sharing services fully online. Using the cloud, users are able to share documents easily between people while allowing for easier collaboration between the accountant and the client. Computer and cloud-based accounting software programs have made the accountant's job more efficient. Accountants can now track and store data with accounting software. From using the program to calculate asset depreciation, to storing original asset value and total depreciation, to outputting of the current book value, it also can track dates of invoices and reports aged payables and aged receivables. Processing of data is faster than ever before. With better computers and the use of cloud computing, some math calculations are automatically performed by the system now. For example, systems have the capability to calculate average cost of a part every time a new shipment is received to stock. Then it can take that information and output margin when it is sold. No longer does math have to be done manually outside of the system. Accounting entries can now be made in a system which will post to all applicable accounting journals. Even making a customer invoice with the information from the sales and shipping departments has become simple. Or even entering a vendor invoice into the system to make a three-way match now has become easy with the data from the receiving and procurement departments. Gone are the days of keeping the books by hand in separate ledgers. Creating a balance sheet or an income statement is now just a click away with accounting systems. Financial information and some measurements now can be produced by accounting software in real time. 
Programs can also offer customizable reports. This allows tailoring reports with information to meet specific business needs. All of these allow for easy access to organized data, which helps reduce time spent preparing reports. The time saved allows accountants to use their time analyzing trends and business performance, therefore providing better and more in-depth information to management, which can help with major business decision making. While people still input some information into the system, the margin of error has been reduced significantly due to auto-population fields in the program. System connections between departments allow data to be pulled over into other department work. This allows for less calculations and less manual entry, driving down chance for entry errors. Advances in technology now allow for easy access and communication exchange between multiple parties simultaneously. In using technology such as the cloud, information access is more favorable in accomplishing tasks that require collaboration. Now accountants are able to share documents in a matter of just seconds. Before this, teams might have to share one source of data cutting productivity of each individual's assignment. Now it can be shared instantaneously, as well as video services that allow for people to stay where they're at and eliminate travel time for meetings. Information exchange with vendors, auditors, and others outside the office has been made more efficient with the cloud. From sending of product drawings or specs to paper copies of audit requests, all of these are now fingertips away via the shared online server. If the accounting software data is saved on just a server or data saved on just a local computer, it could be a risk for data loss. Intentional or unintentional actions could cause equipment failures leading to critical data being lost with no backup. With the rise of use for accounting software, data of a sensitive manner is now stored on servers or in the cloud. This means that data is stored with connections to the internet. This could allow for the chance for this data to be stolen by unauthorized individuals. This could have potential unfavorable economic and social effects on the company. With the new addition of complex technology advancements in the accounting field, Accountants are almost required to adapt to new systems to stay relevant and in high demand. If they do not stay up with the IT aspect of accounting, they may not be able to take full advantage of the efficiency offered by the information technology systems. When updating a current system or transitioning to a new one, additional training is necessary to use the system to its fullest. This additional training could be time consuming and lead to additional costs for the company. A downside for using the computer to input data, organize, and output reports is the computer has no judgment for when something is wrong. In the settings for a software system, it can limit what type of data goes into the field, but it does not know that it should be 100 instead of 10 entered by a user. An accounting system can also not tell that an entry is booking financial data to a wrong account. A system is only as good as its data. To prevent most data loss, all data should be backed up on a daily basis to a secured server. This data, whether on a server or in the cloud, should be protected by using effective up-to-date firewall and virus protection software. The server should be researched to ensure that it has the ability to handle all the things that the business needs it to do. Anytime there's a change in systems, there should always be a cost analysis to whether it will lead to better results. If training is needed, then the cost of it will be well worth it in the long run, and time saved and money saved. Even though a computer cannot determine if data input is correct or not, other people can. In order to prevent errors in the data, review of entry should be in place. For example, in AP, a three-way match in a system could prevent errors in inventory, purchasing, or payment, or when entering a manual journal entry, it should be reviewed and approved by a manager to lessen the likelihood of sending data to the wrong GL accounts. 
Internal and external auditing are great tools for data review. It brings fresh pairs of eyes into review data that they normally don't see. Today, we have looked at how advancing technology has affected accounting and how the field of accounting has experienced positive change by the implementation of more technology. We have talked about some of the negative impacts that this might have on accounting. Then we laid out some mitigating actions that might minimize these negatives. In the end, the efficiency and the time saved definitely outweigh any negatives.